kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five, or I think the last part of my video series on uh, advanced native ads in uh, AdMob using Recycler View in Android Studio. All right, guys. So we will continue from where we had left. So we had done this on create view holder method and. Here we had two cases. Either if it is, if the view type is unified native ad view, then we need to inflate our ad, uh, inflate our ad item, and else what we can do, we uh, inflate our menu item container. So first of all, here we have some error. Yes, because we did not initialize our uh, example file. So before that here you can see we have this get item count method so first of all here you can say recycler view item dot size okay so after this uh, here we can uh, do okay so now here inside our own bind view holder method we can first of all we can say in view type so we can uh, fetch the view type so here we can say get item view type and we need to pass i or the current position and then we can now use the switch statement and we can say switch type and we have some cases so first of all we have unified native add view type so here we can okay so now we can say unified native native add unified uh, native add equal to and we need to type cast it unified native add and then we can say recycler view items dot get i all right and then we can create a, a, a method that will populate our native ad view so we so we can say populate native ad view and inside that we first of all need to send the unified native ad and then we can say unified native ad view holder and here we can say view holder dot get add view all right and finally we can say break all right and then we have another case and that will be menu item view type and then we can uh, say menu item view holder menu item view holder equal to menu item view holder and here we can say view holder and then we now can set our values so before that we need to fetch our menu item object so here we can say menu item equal to menu item and here we can say recycler view dot get and we can pass i and now we can easily get the image name then we can uh, fetch all the data so for that first of all we can say string image name and we can say equal to menu item dot get photo then we have int image resource id and it will be context dot get resources dot get identifier and here we can first of all pass our image name and then inside there we can pass our type and it will be drawable
and then we can say context dot get package name and finally we can add the menu item details to it so for that we can say menu item view holder dot menu item image and we can say dot set image okay so the menu item image was the image view sorry for that alright and then we can say dot menu item image dot set image resource and there we can pass our image resource id then we can say menu item view holder dot set item name dot set text and here we can say menu item dot get name then we can say menu item view holder dot set uh, menu item price and we can say dot set text and we can first say dot get price then we can simply say menu item category dot set text menu item dot cat category and finally we have the, the description so we can say menu item view holder dot menu item description dot set text menu item dot cat description okay so that is it so now we need to uh, write the method for uh, populate the native add view and so okay so now here we can fetch all the values so first of all we have the text view and here we have add view dot get headline view dot set text and we can simply say unified native id dot get headline and uh, similarly for our text view add view dot get body view dot set text and we can say unified dot get body and similarly for our text view add view dot get call to action view and we can simply say dot set text and we can say native add dot get call to action and then we can say native add dot image and we can say icon equal to native add dot get icon so now we have this icon and we can now check if icon is null which means we could not find the icon so we can simply say add view dot get icon view dot set visibility and we need to make it invisible or we can say and else inside our else part if the icon is not null so we can say image view add view dot get icon view dot set image drawable and here we can say icon dot get drawable okay then we can say add view dot get icon view dot set visibility and we can say view dot visible 
all right and then now we can check for the price and similarly for all the other controls so here we can now check if unified native I add dot get price and if it is equal to null and then we can say add view dot get price view dot set visibility and we can say visibility dot invisible and here inside our else part dot get price view dot set visibility and we will need to make it visible then we can say text view add view dot get price view dot set text and there we can say unified native add dot get price and similarly it will be for all the other controls alright so I will just copy paste them so here we can we check if it is okay so we check if it price is equal to null then this then if after this get price so we have get store and if it is equal to null then we can say get store store view dot set visibility else get store and finally we can say get store view get store all right similarly for this after store we have got the star rating then we can say get star rating view get star rating okay so instead of this text view we will have a rating bar rating bar and it will be okay so instead of this set text so we can say set rating and inside this rating we can we need to convert it to float dot so we can say dot float value all right then after this we will have get advertiser and if it is equal to null then we need to in, in, make it invisible get advertiser view and instead then if else part get advertiser and here we can say get advertiser okay so at the last so we can simply say add view dot set native add and we can pass our unified native add all right guys so i hope that you have understood the main concept here so i try to make it play, make it complete and now we have uh, we are left with only these two layouts so we will do that in our 
last part of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye